Budkai here in From the Depths, and today we are going to go ahead and do some major modifications to the Hellfire Paradise. That's right, we're going to go ahead and add some huge ground pounder rocket launchers underneath, and we'll probably set those to laser designated receivers to hit uh, hard targets. Seems like these heat seekers do fine with air targets, as I'm just noticing right now. Very good, yeah, pretty good at disabling that stuff. So we'll leave the heat seekers on the front, get some ground pounder rocket pods on the, on the uh, underneath. And then some shields as well, probably a few shields couldn't hurt, might need to improve our engines, something like that. But uh, heck yeah man, that was, that was pretty good. And before we get around to adding our ground pounder rocket pods underneath here, went ahead and uh, just kind of improved our ship altogether. Uh, I, I uh, armored up our ammo area with uh, alloy, so I kind of removed the taco bar, and I just stacked a whole ton of ammo barrels here. So now we got tons of ammo generation. And, uh, and, you know, obviously plated it with some aluminum, <laughs> which isn't, isn't really that much better. Also reinforced some engine areas as well, put more repair bots on here, so that we got like little repair bay alleys uh, all around here, some repair bots on the back. And I feel like, oh yes, right, and I'm actually flying right now too, so that's how stable this thing is. Um, <laughs> I actually turned the AI off, and I'm flying this thing around, so we got this, oh come on, don't make me a liar now, there we go. Oh crap, we're in the water, alright. Well, anyway, it's stable for the most part, um, yeah. So now all we gotta do is maybe add a shield or two, and then add the, uh, rocket pods. And talking about some offense, we have our missile pods in the works. Let me go ahead and split this apart a little bit here, so we can see we have a missile controller right here, wedged in the middle of all this stuff, behind a, a steel beam. Then we have a weapon controller, and we have a, uh, receiver here, receiving on channel 2. Now, I made a second AI over this way. Uh, right over here just for now, and this is transmitting on channel 2, and it's pretty much just going after ground targets, so our uh, laser designators will go ahead and hopefully point out anything that's, uh, that's low to the ground, because we're going to have high payload missiles with very little maneuverability. So hopefully this will go ahead and start chewing through some of that armor that the Onyx watch has, uh, hopefully. So we got this on both sides. <laughs> this ship's coming along pretty good. That's going to be, oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome, <laughs> watching all those missiles fly. It kind of reminds me of the father ship that we made a long time ago. And then we have, um, then we have uh, some shields here on the side that kind of made them invisible. So we got little shielding on the side, shielding underneath, uh, all kind of invisible. I mean, still going to be a flimsy ship, but I think that's part of the fun. We can make this work, and then we'll keep on tailoring it to the different factions and stuff we have along the way. But all right, so time to add the missile uh, pods. And I think, I, think we'll be, uh, I think we'll be pretty good. Just a bunch of launch pads here. <laughs> And welcome to our Mark II version of our Paradise in the Sky. Let's go on a little tour around here, shall we? Oh my gosh, we're flying pretty fast. But uh, here we are. Actually, let me just go to this view. Yes, we're uh, we're pretty much got all our missile pods on here. Everything's pretty darn set. Uh, kind of redid our cockpit area just a, just a tad bit. And but yeah, everything's pretty stable now. I also disabled the harpoon guns just for now. And uh, let's let, we're gonna actually do a test here. See how these Hellfire rocket pods work. This should be shooting at 900. There we go. So we got the heat seekers leading the way, and all the other rockets <laughs> flying around. All right, and yes, this should go ahead and penetrate pretty much anything <laughs> with all the multiple frag heads, and we should get two volleys off the pass at least. Oh, the AI is already dead. Nice. Are we gonna get another volley? I want to see another volley. Can we do it again, please? Oh wait, the AI is already dead. Never mind. That's right. What the heck are we doing? Oh my gosh. We're coming in for, uh, for a ramming. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay. Okay, I think, I think I know what that is. We have to adjust the, uh... That's right, it's over here. It's this part, this AI little module right here. Hang on a sec. Oh my goodness, so, so many things to adjust. Yeah, it's this, um, distance below which we abort attack run. Yes, this should be, like, way higher. Like, like a lot higher. Something like that. Okay. I think we got it. <laughs> it's ready to build this thing in the campaign. Okay, and we're back in right after our last fight, and oh crap, that's right, we, we have actually aggroed the zone too. Um, oh, this is not good, this is not good. Uh, should we start fighting, wait, wait a second, let's, let's line up the troops here. Oh, that's right, oh, this, this stinks, man. Alright, but luckily they, they haven't, uh, we haven't engaged their, their fight yet, this is still the old design. I don't think we're gonna have time to go ahead and switch it over, although, oh man, I really don't want to. Oh, total bummer, alright. So, we gotta get ourselves together here, and ready for a fight, yeah. Maybe we can pull back, we'll see. And luckily the enemy is very slow, 
They're, they are silly. I think, I think, what are they? Yeah, 4.1 speed. Looks like, okay, the Alcazar. I'm not sure if we thought that yet in the Bastion. All right, so we have three ships coming in. I think, I think this was forced right here. <laughs> our dozers can take it out, our new dozers. But I am making uh, the new Mark II Sky Paradise. It's, uh, we're swinging it around, building it up here. We should have it built by the time these guys decide to uh, engage us. Where the heck? There we go. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Gotta love it. Sitting in my cockpit, wondering what the heck's going on. But uh, this should be done. Oh, I hear the engines. Engines are firing up. And I feel invincible. We got our fleet together. That was real quick. Got really good. All you gotta do is actually select all your uh, all your units and then click on this to uh, merge them all together. It was really easy. For, I used to do it like the slow way. But okay, let's go ahead and engage these guys before these guys come on in here and uh, blow us up. So, luckily everything else gets paused. Let's increase the blocks to maximum. I want everybody in this fight. Begin the battle. Like all crazy. And I know some of you guys were asking me, like, how do, I, how do you increase the blocks when they're only limited to like a certain amount here? I don't know. I think it's just like whatever is... Uh, oh gosh, let's, let's get in here. Oh, I, I want to... I wanna, I want to see what's going on. Get me in here. Okay. There we go. Sweet. So we are <laughs> flying the sky paradise. I mean the hellfire paradise. My, my bad. And oh, there's an island in the middle here. Please don't hit the hellfire paradise. No, I think we good. There they are. I see them dead ahead. That's a serious fortress. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Darn it. We're not even going to make it there. Are we getting hit by our own guys? I think we are actually. Darn it. <laughs> I should have thought of that. I thought I made our height high enough, but I guess not. It's okay though, we Johnny on the spot with the repairs, we got repair bots everywhere. We can take it, man. Maybe not. As long as our- I just want our missile pods to be good. Oh my gosh. The bullets, they're coming so close to our missile pods. Just hang tight, man, hang tight. Looks like they're still together. Okay. Well, not really. Alright, we're almost within range. Hang in there, man. <laughs> I'm like repairing as fast as I can my mechanics go- Oh, this is what takes a long time to repair, are these little winglets. That are down over there. They take forever. Oh crap. Where that what the heck are my shields doing, man? Shields aren't doing a darn thing. You know what it is? We're just in the crossfire. That's that's all it is. We're just stuck in the crossfire. And I'm dying. Who the heck would shoot a guy while he's flying the ship like this, you know? We gotta make sure we don't fly off this thing either. Oh there we go, the shooting's beginning. Oh gosh, don't fly off. We're flying off. Okay, hang in here. Good. Good, alright. And and we're taking damage. But luckily, we got some shots off. Uh, at the ground target here, one of the biggest ground targets, and the missiles are coming in and hitting them, fighting furious. Oh my gosh, did that need to not do anything? Oh, it did a lot. We got a big old hole in there. Hopefully, we'll get a second volley going off before we crash. Come on, man, second volley. Oh, we we looking pretty sad. Yeah, we we missed our. Um, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> That's terrible. So where are all these bullets going? Where are they going? Like, we have shields, but they ain't doing, uh, they're, they're not doing their thing. Maybe we should have had a little more, uh, higher altitude. Oh, man, let's try that. Um, darn it. That's a shame. Spawn back over here. <laughs> Just like, darn it, we got all the AIs destroyed. It's too damaged. Oh, terrible. We didn't even do a darn thing. So that was a catastrophe. That was a total loss of many, many resources, but not like it really uh, matters much because we are doing good, we're getting resources for blowing them up. This ship is amazing, by the way, the enemy ship. We are hammering away at this thing. Oh, it's got lots of repair bots. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this is so cool. I want to board this thing. This is what, like, this is definitely a boardable ship. Oh, we could mess up their computers. Where the heck am I? Oh, that's right. I do, ha I do have my boarding ship, actually. Where am I? Oh, I'm just underneath this thing on the mountain. <laughs> I mean, under underwater uh, mountain. Let's jump on this thing and mess it up with some grenades. I can't believe it, we're right here. Yeah, one right in the satellite dish. All right, so let's try to find what the heck is this, what makes this thing tick and then blow it up. I'll repair things, that's okay. What the heck just killed me? Do they have crew on here? I think they might actually have crew on here. All right, and we've loaded in our airboy and we're ready to get back to this ship here to try and board it. I tell you what though, I think we're our own worst enemy. We just keep running into our own shots. So I gotta make sure I put our flyers in either high enough, although, I don't know. <laughs> Look at me, I'm gonna fly into our shots again. Oh my gosh, let's just pull up, pull up, man. Get some altitude. I'm crying out loud, alright. So yeah, so I think Sky Paradise really took a hit from us shooting ourselves from behind. I think that really, uh, really uh, made us lose a lot of resources. But, that's okay, the learning process. Alright, so let's fly on in here at a sharp angle to try and board this thing, maybe from the back side. Oh gosh. <laughs> alright. Those guys in the behind are not even getting touched as dodges bullets. We're pretty fast, we're pretty nimble. 
I'm gonna go ahead and set this down right back here and just land it. So we can actually use this thing again so we don't have to keep like remaking it. Let's just kind of kill the power back here. And sweet. Alright, so we are getting shot at. <laughs> oh crap, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, it'll do fine. It'll just land there. Okay, it's getting blown up. That's alright though. We'll board this thing. Take it out. Some grenade launchers. Yeah, like that's gonna do anything. Alright, we gotta make sure we don't shoot ourselves. I guess this guy's kind of taken out actually. I just really wonder like where the AI in this thing is, really. So just just for like some other time. Now this thing's pretty much cooked. Alright, let's go to the next ship. And see if we can make a mess of one of these guys over here. Where's our um Oh the air boy got destroyed. <laughs> it's already disintegrated. Oh the power of wood. And we just cut our way into this uh into this ship here. Look at this. I was just like sitting here with a with a gun. I and, uh, just shot my way through this wall, shot right down through here, and look at this, we found the, uh, underway alley. Oh my gosh, if we could just fit through here now, let's blow this place up. There's, like, a single repair bot here next to, uh, next to, like, the controller and the AI. There we go, take that, sucker. I just, actually, you know what, I guess I could have taken this ship over. But I think that was it, man. I think that was, that was pretty much it, so, uh, I think this ship's ours? Is it? No, it's still shooting at us. What the heck? Maybe that was a different AI. Well, we're just gonna have to go ahead and check out some of these doors around here. Oh, there's an engine. Darn, this weird menu. That's right, I can't open this. Alright, and we are trapped inside of this ship right here. We're just stuck down here. Everything repairs instantaneously, not from the repair bots I found, but because there's two different entities in this ship. One with uh, repair tentacles, so all the repair tentacles were fixing faster than I can even destroy within the ship. So that's kind of like a cheaty little way. There's, there's, uh, yeah, repair tentacles doing all that repair work. So it kind of gives me an idea for our ships. Might go ahead and have to do that too. He repairs so fast. We need huge DPS to try to fight through this armor. Um, this battle has been lost. We must try again with more DPS. Okay, and the answer for more DPS is three Hellfire Paradises. All right, let's do this thing. We're not going to shoot ourselves this time. Uh, we totally got this, so we're going to rush on in here. Instead of spawning from a distance where they could just shoot us to all hell, uh, we're going to move in here and just spawn, like, on top of them. And hopefully that'll be enough. And we'll just fight these guys right over here. I mean, like, uh, surely, like, all these missile launchers shooting all at once should, like, one-shot these guys. I mean, they should. So, all right, so we're moving into position. Let's go ahead and spawn in. All right. Yeah, but pretty much, yeah, we lost we lost a lot of ground and we lost a lot of resources. Well, not really that many because we did build three of these huge uh, epic fortresses. Oh, I hope we could spawn most of them in. I didn't even think about that. Oh, we can. All right, sweet. <laughs> right, let's do this thing. Let's, let's, uh, let's join the fight. Um, yeah, here we go. And the third one's loading in and there we go. All right, yes, yes. All right, let's do this thing. Come on, guys. Let's get crazy. Good, we got enough distance between us. Okay. Crap. But we're still too far away. We're probably gonna get shot the all heck still. I need to spawn in a lot closer. I should probably make these cruise missiles instead of just regular like sidewinders. I should make these like longer blocks, more fuel tanks. And so the bashing begins. Alright, but let's see what happens here. We, we could we could do this thing. We could survive. Oh my gosh, the devastation's unbelievable. Alright, but it looks like our missiles are firing off though. <laughs> After the devastating hits. Uh, a whole ton are flying. Why are they flying in all directions? I don't know. Let's go ahead down here and take a look. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's right. That ship's still destroyed from last time. Hopefully we can pierce the, uh, the AI core, wherever the heck it is, and just down that thing once and for all. Let me go ahead and jump on the ship that's most damaged as well. Warp myself over there. So now I think we're on that ship, probably. And just repair it the best that we can. This guy can't still be alive. There we go. Now he's sinking. Now he's done. We're not attacking salvage, right? Nope, we're ignoring salvage. Cool. Alright, so keep firing the missiles and everything. I'm so happy this guy's finally dead. Wow, he was he was extremely tough guy. So yeah, we need we need high alpha damage. That's really what we need. Oh my gosh, we're still shooting shots at this guy? He's so dead. He's so dead. Yeah, there he goes. Wow. Let's take a look at this underwater. I mean there's nothing left of this guy. That's right, yeah, go go disappear. Yeah, he's, he's disintegrating. Nice. Oh, now we're targeting this guy over here. Finally, finally, finally. Oh, what a happy day. Look at that, we made a hole right in his roof. Boom. Actually, where are the ammo barrels at? Oh, gosh. Are we crashing into each other? Hang in there, guys. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> Anyone need any more repairs? <laughs> oh, epic. Epic chaos. All right, uh, I need to get on this one here. Am I on this one? Oh, my gosh, yeah, we're missing, we're missing some pieces. But we're hanging tough. We're pulling up. 
We're flying around. Look at this heavy banking. We might actually, uh, oh darn, one of our ammos got hit as we're pulling around. What, what a show, though. What a show. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. All right. So we are beating these guys back ever so uh, uneloquently. But well, there we go. Yes, that's what I was waiting for. A nice detonation. Looks like his guns are not working anymore. Yeah, we're a bunch of scary bosses in the sky. Yeah. He's got repair bots. This guy is all twisted up. Looks like we, we gave, him the, uh, gave him the slip. Okay, and we have joined the ship that was most damaged. So we're back here repairing this hole right over here. But it's amazing, though, that we're still flying. This thing is still flying around. Kind of, kind of good. Even though it's missing, like, you know, the whole, like, like stomach uh, of itself. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, this is fantastic, though. I love these battles. This is great. I mean, like, this is why I like building ships that fall apart. Because it's just more epic, you know? Than just, like, cruising through a zone being, oh, this guy's missing his ammos, too. So we're not really producing that many missiles. This guy is, though. He's the, he's the champ. He's the one offense we have left just to hold him down until we get our repairs done. Good. That guy's AI is done. Giving it to him. Flying circles around him. Our sidewinders, our heat-seeking sidewinders are doing a good job on the sides because we're getting close enough. Don't crash in the water. Come on, man. Pull up. Pull up. You got it. Yeah, he's got it. He's good. Oh, yeah, we have some Hellfires launching. That's amazing. Even though he has no ammo, he's still shooting some Hellfires here and there. Very good. And our, how's our repairs doing over here? I love these steep banking angles. I never had a mothership before that, that, that flew like a fighter. So this is, this is new for me. Um, having something such such a huge thing <laughs> flying like bank like this, but this is it's really neat to look at because it looks like it's in slow motion, but it's not. We're just like gigantic ships sailing about in the skies. But I think we got this battle. I think this is good. It's kind of crazy that we have another battle directly right after this on the map, like over here. So, but this was a strength 90 battle it turned out. So, I think we did pretty all right with these um, strange designs. Still got a lot to repair though. And we've done it! We've finally taken out that ship, doing some repairs. Yeah, we got one ship down in the water. Actually, we were all in the water at one point. But then we got ourselves back up in the air. And bada boom, alright, so good job. Good job, guys. Now we gotta go ahead and get ready for the next battle. Because there's one, <laughs> there's another one coming here. Although it's much easier though, it's only a strength 40. And we took the zone over, that's nice. So, alright, let's get ourselves all together here. And we are all together and more. We've actually built two Everclears to assist us in these battles. So let's go ahead and start this battle off. Uh, that, was, that was a ship I built a long time ago. But hopefully um, hopefully it's going to do good. I kind of forget how it works, how it shoots. Well, I'm sure everything shoots. Oh, let's make sure we get our Hellfires in there, actually, number one. I kind of want to see uh, those perform. And if we have space, then the Everclears can go do their thing. All right, let's begin the battle. Let's see if everybody can make it in. Okay, so Hellfires, Everclear. Okay, everybody made it in. Ha <laughs> ha. Good times. All right. Let's do this thing. Everybody on combat, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On combat. Everything looks on. All right. So I, hopefully I spaced the, um, yeah, I spaced them out enough to where they shouldn't be, we shouldn't be flying into their shots, their arcing shots. Oh, this is great. Oh, I forgot how good these guys are. Right. Okay, so we got lots of DACA coming in here on our beaut beautiful Everclears. <laughs> Tons of shielding. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now. What do you guys think about that? I think that might be too much DPS for them to handle that. I mean, then again, then again, this is a smaller fleet. They did not see this coming. They were not ready for this. They thought they were going to mess with our uh, test design of Paradise. But uh, they had another thing coming. <laughs> they had some other finalized designs to deal with. All right. So this seems like a done deal. More enemies approaching. What? I think we might be able to find the headquarters for the Onyx Guard, or Onyx Watch. Oh, here we go, missiles launching. Yeah, now we can actually launch our, launch our missiles. Because we haven't been taking so much damage. Oh, this is going to be a glorious damage. Glorious death blow right here. Let's take a look at all these missiles hitting. Oh my gosh, so many missiles. So many. And they're doing a the job. They can't even load the damage in fast enough. There we go. That's very good. Two damage. Do you better believe it? Nine seconds. That's right. Okay, so... <clears throat> it seems like we're going bananas on this fellow here. Ah, uh, so there he goes. And the rest of the missiles are turning their attention onto this fellow here, just before they got wasted on a, on a scrap. And they are digging deep. I love it. Oh, we're still gliding a little bit up there. Or maybe not. Maybe we're going for an attack run. I don't know. But this is awesome. <laughs> what a huge bombardment of pain. Yeah, man. This is great. As long as we don't fly into this mountain, I think we'll be alright. 
This this is a sad day though for this guy. Anything left now? He's pretty much too damaged. All right, so now we got the DPS. We got the focus. It's all about heavy hits, heavy DPS. <laughs> oh, this is outrageous, man. This is gross. It's disgusting. I love it. All right. So I will see you guys next time. We're gonna try to find. Oh my gosh! Spawn this ship out. Oh crap! Let me spawn this guy out before he hits. Before he smashes into something. Hang on. Hang on. Oh gosh. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Retreat. Okay, good. <laughs> he didn't smash. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but we're gonna try to find their base next time. Or some more bases, actually. And, uh, my god, this is a disgusting amount of damage. Oh, gosh, I wanna get this guy out, too. Is it battle over? Okay, battle over. Pull all. Pull all. Do it. Okay, good. <laughs> and that's how you do it, baby. Alright. So, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.